Yeah, unfortunately, that is a full clinic today. It doesn't look like it, but this is one of the most important and stressful hospital jobs during strike days. So Melissa leads the team that cancels and rearranges operations. It's not always easy to deal with those calls. Um, there's a lot of frustration there. There's a lot of anger there. These patients have been waiting quite a long time, especially routine patients, for their appointments. Um, and as you can appreciate, those conversations can get quite heated and quite difficult. <laughs> Every strike day brings huge upheaval and uncertainty, and patients like George have had enough. I think they're disgusting. I think they're disgusting, lazy so-and-sos. Are you worried about the impact the strikes have on patient services? Because yes. you, you need the energy. Absolutely. Absolutely. By almost every metric, this winter is proving to be more challenging than the last, and covering for striking colleagues brings pressure that is felt beyond the strike days. The cost is seen later on, that might be with extra clinics or extra theatres being required, perhaps out of hours, and the cost to pay for those teams. But also, of course, the most important cost is with our patients, suffering longer in pain or waiting for a diagnosis. Over 1.3 million hospital appointments have had to be rescheduled since the industrial action began over a year ago. The striking junior doctors enjoyed strong support at the start, but it does feel like that might be changing. According to the latest opinion polls, over half the UK population still supports the junior doctor strikes, but spend some time here and speak to staff at almost every level and you can sense that the mood is beginning to change. The one word that keeps coming up time and time again is frustration, and that's also being felt by patients. Recess call. The government and the doctors' union, the BMA, seem no closer to any breakthrough. But everyone agrees that the longer these strikes drag on, the more lasting the damage will be. Ashish Joshi, Sky News at the Royal Berkshire Hospital in Reading.